Welcome to the first tip in a series of tips on how to save money in Azure. In this case, I'm going to compare VM instance size pricing across Azure regions. Let's go to the Azure.com site and start comparing prices. Okay, I've opened up two browser windows side by side so we can see some comparisons next to each other. And I've navigated to the Azure.com site to the Azure pricing page. Now let's click on virtual machines on both pages and we'll go look at the virtual machine pricing information. In this case it has CentOS or Ubuntu Linux selected as the OS but it could be Windows or SharePoint or whatever that doesn't matter the pricing is going to be the same in this case. So we'll select the Azure regions on the left here I'll pick South Central US and on the right let's pick West US. So now we're going to expand for virtual machine categories click on general purpose and I'll move these side by side so we can do some comparisons visually. So the A0 instance in South Central US is 1.8 cents per hour and in West US it is the same price. Although we can see an A1 is 2.5 cents per hour in South Central US and in West US it is 3.1 cents per hour. So starting to get a little difference here in pricing tiers. And we can see the other ones are a little bit different and if I highlight A4 um, 35.2 cents per hour compared to West US 37.6 cents per hour. Let's scroll down past some of these and go down to um, the storage optimized just as in this example. So I'll do that on the left side here as well. And we can see um, actually South Central US does not have L series available. So I'll, I'll pick a different one, uh, compute optimized instead, and that'll be available. So that we can compare side by side. F1 in South Central US is 5.5 cents per hour and F1 in West US is 6.2 cents per hour. And if we go down to the bigger size, F16, 87.6 cents per hour in South Central US and West US, it is 99.7 cents per hour. So we can see there's, there's a, a small difference in the amount of, of price in just a few cents per hour, so sometimes half a cent or something like that uh, per region. But when you add that up to hundreds or thousands of EMs, that could be significant cost savings uh, calculated out monthly versus just hourly. And we can see that in the pricing information if we compare the Azure regions, um, essentially getting the exact same VM, but it costs different based on what region we choose. Um, in this case, I'm using South Central US and West US, but you could use any other region around the world um, for your comparisons and make sure that you're getting the best price um, given the region you want to use and the proximity to your users and customers. So now I'll switch over to the Azure portal and look at this in a little bit of a different angle. I'm going to click on New in the portal to say we want to provision a new VM. I'll click on Compute on both sides and select Windows Server 2016 Data Center. Uh, again, this is just the um, OS or VM image I'm picking as an example. We could pick any image in here we want, uh, specifically the image that we're going to be using to deploy. Um, in this case, I'll just use this as an example. Once the basic tier loads, then we need to we need to fill in the name of our VM and a username and password. Now that I have the information entered, we can select the location or has a region for each. On the left, I'm going to pick South Central US. And on the right here, instead of West US, um, let's go ahead and pick uh, West Europe instead. Then we'll click OK on each of these and move to the next pane in the wizard where we can choose our virtual machine size. And we'll be able to see what the pricing differences are here as shown in the portal versus what we just saw in the website. Once the pricing tier is loaded, now we can see the pricing is different between each. We can see DS1 V2 in South Central US it is 96 points. 72 um, or $96.72 per month estimated and in the Europe region it is $100.44 estimated per month. And we can see also like DS11 two, V2 is 223 in, in South Central US and 241 about in the European region. If we click on view all and we can view all the different Azure pricing tiers for our VMs. And we can scroll down and see different ones.
we can see there's some promo pricing here um, in the South Central US. So the pricing is um, even further reduced. So currently DS2 V2 is $165 approximately for South Central US and in the European region it's $200. So it's quite a big difference there, but it's because it's, it, it is marked as a promo pricing um, in the South Central US. If we move down to some other standard pricing, So we find a look here, we have DS2 V2 um, is also promo pricing in the European region. So it's going to be a little different. But then we scroll further, we can see um, DS1 and DS2, we had both of them. DS1 standard in South Central US is about $96 a month, whereas that same one is approximately $110 a month in the European region. So we can see it, it does vary, uh, may have only been a few cents per hour across regions, but that difference equates to 10 or $15 a month difference per VM. And again, if you have hundreds or thousands of VMs, that could definitely add up to be a significant amount of money um, difference, offering you quite the cost savings. Something I ran into here too is the promo pricing is different per region, depending on which VM sizes are in promo um, in that region, as well as some regions don't have all sizes available. So you need to choose wisely which region you want to put your VM in because the pricing tier that you choose um, in one region may not be available in another region and that could cause you to pick a different pricing tier affecting your total overall cost at the, at the end of the day. So we can see the pricing is different. Um, it's actually a little more significant. If we look at the DS13 V2, it's a pretty big VM in the European region. It's almost $750 a month. And in the South Central US, that same VM size is just about $736 per month. So it's about $13 difference per month per VM. And say you have a thousand VMs or something, that would be $13,000 difference. Um, quite the impact on your budget, um, depending on what you're choosing, what you need and all that. Um, given you'll probably have multiple VMs varying sizes, it's really hard um, to say what your actual pricing difference or, or benefit would be of choosing one over the other. But it's definitely something to think about when moving um, workloads into the cloud or choosing which regions to use for hosting um, that's optimal for your users and things um, when it comes to price in comparison. Okay, thanks for watching. If you want to see more tips like this, please subscribe.